All right, what is up, YouTube? It's a Frosty Pepsi here, and today I'm gonna be doing a tutorial on sort of like um, a fracture thing, I guess. Um, yeah. So, I mean, I only have a few minutes until my Betty Bye time, cause I mean, I'm a ninth grader, and I gotta get my sleep for school early in the morning. And so, yeah. So, if I get interrupted halfway through. I am sorry. It shouldn't take that long, actually. I've already pre-synced it up. I mean, I I haven't added any special effects. It's basically just points in the song that I've marked. If you guys can hear it, that's great. But if you can't, you just gotta believe me that there are three points in the song. And I've synced those up. And, well, technically I have four markers, but that one's just where the drop was. So basically what we are going to be doing is, I've never actually done this effect before, but we are going to be splitting the clips in Control alt q I mean Control shift q um, to create a new like video track, and then click Control and drag up to um, copy the clip. So we want to find, let's go here, and we just want to just sort of roughly mask out a portion of it. Now let's feather it like to three, I guess. Um, fade that in. Um, so we can do it like like that, I guess. Um, and then just do it for the other one. And it doesn't need to be perfect, you guys. I mean. When I say it doesn't need to be perfect, I mean it does not need to be perfect because, I mean, it's a quick effect and nobody's really going to care if it's that quick and plus it looks freaking awesome if I do it, if I remember how to do it correctly. Uh, I think I've got it, like, I mean, it's really kind of just simple. Now let's zoom that. Now let's go to video effects and grab our magic bullet looks. And we're going to drag in our um, default. Uh, well, it's not default. Um, okay. So we are going to click edit. Uh, of course. Of course. No. Why would it respond? Why would it be quick? I love it when it does this, you know, it's just great, it doesn't do this all the time, no, no, this is perfect, like, sometimes, oh, yeah, score, so basically all you want to do is go into tools, click post, and then drag down chromatic aberration or whatever, if that's correct, score, then click on it, and just copy these settings, basically, um, yeah, so red cyan, all the different stuff, and just click finished. Now what you're going to want to do is, do what the fuck? Sorry about my language. Yeah, and then you're just going to want to drag it out. I don't know why it's doing that weird ass crisscross. Oh, what the fuck? Why did it, why are there so many copies of it? Okay. I that was confusing for me. You just drag it into all of them. I want to drag that in. Um. So yeah, I mean, it's really simple. Um. I mean, if you want, you can even do some sort of like really simple color correction, like um, where's color curves? Drag in that default and kind of just spruce it up a little bit. Maybe this one will be a little darker. I don't know if that'll look good. Um, sure. It doesn't look bad or anything. I mean, um, and then this one we can just drag on a poop, poop ton of the current effect that we're using. So like more of the RGB stuff. The more you drag on, the more the effect is. 
So let's shift B. Strip. But essentially, you could like, um, one second, dad, you could like, <laughs> sorry about that, you could essentially like mask out the tree if you had it twixtered, and then basically just zoom the tree in and have like your surrounding pop out. But really, it's just very simple, um, very easy, and I hope you guys like it. So don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. This is a very quick tutorial, but I mean, it's useful in some edits. I will see you guys in my next video. Um, comment, rate, subscribe. I think I just said that, but I can't remember. I forgot. <gasps> Bye.